Hello guys, our today's topic of discussion is types of lubrication. In a VME OEL examination, surveyor will always ask you one or two questions regarding lubrication in main engine and auxiliary engine. But sometimes he might ask you to explain the type of lubrication. So we will discuss the answer now. There are generally three major types of lubrication. So first one is hydrodynamic lubrication. Hydrodynamic lubrication is said to exist when the moving surfaces are separated by pressure of a continuous unbroken film or layer lubrication. In this type of lubrication, the load is taken completely by the oil film. The basic of hydrodynamic lubrication is formation of an oil wedge. When general rotates, it creates oil taper or wedge between the two surfaces and the pressure built up with oil film supported the load. Hydrodynamic lubrication depends on the relative speed between the oil surfaces, oil viscosity, lower and the clearance between the moving or sliding surfaces. So for bearing, following formula is used to calculate the clearance which is required for the adequate oil film to form. Here load is directly proportional to the mu which is thickness of oil film n is equal to n means relative speed that is rpm rl means radius and length which is projected area divided by c clearance example of this type of lubrications are main engine main bearing and auxiliary engine main bearing here another short type is elasto hydrodynamic lubrication in rolling or sliding contact thickness of lube oil changes due to elastic deformation of surfaces Example of this type of lubrication is lubrication of gear teeth. Our second point is second type is hydrostatic lubrication. Hydrostatic lubrication is essentially a form of hydrodynamic lubrication in which the metal surfaces are separated by complete film of oil, but instead of being self-generated, the separating pressure is supplied by external oil pump. Hydrostatic lubrication depends on inlet pressure of lube oil and clearance between the metal surfaces. When, whereas in hydrodynamic lubrication, it depends on relative speed between the surfaces, oil viscosity load on the surfaces, and clearance between the moving surfaces. Example of this type of lubrication is Sulzer crosshead bearing lubrication, where separate pump is used to increase the pressure of lube oil to. 12 to 13 bar from 2 to 4 bar which is sufficient for other bearing lubrication. Third type of lubrication is boundary lubrication. Boundary lubrication exists when the operating condition are such that it is not possible to establish a full fluid condition, particularly at low relative speed between the moving or sliding surfaces. The oil film thickness may be reduced to such a degree that metal to metal contact occurs between the moving surfaces. The oil film thickness is so small that oilness become predominant for boundary lubrication. Example of this type of lubrication is while starting and stopping lubrication in main engine main bearing. So that's all guys. Please like and share my video with your friends who are preparing for MEO class for examination. Please subscribe my channel. This, uh, this is a small effort from my side to help the guys who are preparing for MEO class for examination. Thank you. This video is only for educational purposes.